Okay, so I think a lot of you are going to be able to figure this mess problem out. It's not that difficult, the problem is 30 plus 10 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have very simple addition, division, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade and we want to get this down to one value. Now, we don't want to use our calculator, so put those calculators away, we just want to use that supercomputer in our head, this is much better. And again, this shouldn't be too difficult problem, but there's a couple of things here, some of you are going to make a very common Common error and of course I'll talk about all this in one minute. But I don't want to give you too many hints as I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. So if you can figure this mess problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second and then I will lead to the complete solution step by step. So we have two options A, B and C. Choose one option what do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section. Okay, first of all I want to say that there are two types of people in the world. Okay, this is our first interpretation and I want to go, I'm going to fully explain you what is the correct interpretation. So first interpretation looks like that. One part of people solve this question like that, so we have 30 plus 10 divided by 2. Okay, here's our challenge. And first type of people solve this question like that. They go from left to right, they don't know about order of operation, they solve this question randomly, they solve this question wherever they want. So 30 plus 10 we have on the left hand side equal to equal to 40 and we have this division on the right hand side, so 40 divided by 2 which is equal to which is equal to 20, yeah, and we have this option 20, this is our option, this is our option A, and it looks like a correct answer is 20. So this is the first interpretation, so a lot of students solve this question like that. But I want to say, in, my, in terms of math, it's not good to solve this problem randomly, chaotically, we know to be we can solve this question wherever we want, we should know what is the correct order, correct property, correct rule, and in terms of math, it's really important thing, because a lot of students forget about it, but we should know what is the correct order to do this question. Because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet library, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. So the expression can be simplified by the order of operation, also often remembered by the acronyms PMDMC, BODMAS, doesn't matter. In this case, exactly doesn't matter what order of operation we select. So first we evaluate parentheses brackets, then evaluate exponents orders, then multiplication division group, and finally we evaluate addition and subtraction group. Okay, here's our challenge, here's our order of operation. And right now let's solve, let's let's uh, write this second interpretation. So this is the first interpretation and right now let's write our second interpretation, but this interpretation we solved according to PMDMC, okay? 30 plus 10 divided by 2. So right, right now let's scan what elements do we have, because parentheses have the highest priority, then exponents like the lower, multiplication division the lower, and addition subtraction have the lowest priority. So addition and subtraction is our last step. So right now let's scan what elements do we have and we will solve this according to this PMDMC and then we will check our answers, okay? So 30 plus 10 divided by 2. Let's scan what do we have. We have parentheses, let's look at it, first step is parentheses. Let's scan where do we have these parentheses. For me personally, I don't see any parentheses, so we just skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. Okay, the next step. Exponents. What about exponents? Maybe maybe cubes, maybe fifth power, tenth power, hundredth power. I don't see any of those. We, like, we have like a regular expression without any of these powers, so we just skip this part as well. We don't have any exponent. Let's go to the next step. Multiplication and division group. A lot of students uh, make this mistake. They say multiplication, then we should find multiplication sign, but this is one common group. It happens that right here we don't have multiplication sign. Yeah, we reject this step, we skip this step, but we have division step. So right here we have division part. So finally we found our our first step. Yeah, we, we have this step right here, so 10 divided by 2 is our first step. So we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, but we have we have division. It's a really important moment. So we have 30, we have 30 plus 10 divided by 2 equal to equal to 5. Okay, and addition our last step, so right here we complete this division step, and right now we go to the addition step. But right here you don't need your, your PMDMC order, you don't need order of operation, because very this is very basic addition. This is nothing hard, but right here I want to mention that we have this addition part, we reject subtraction part, we don't have it, we have addition and division. Addition is very basic, 30 plus 5 equal to, equal to 35. So as you can see, my important, really important notes, my really important thoughts from here, division is all the time before addition. So every time you should divide it first, then you should add it first. This is really important 
important moment. And right now let's go back to this answer 20. Because we have two interpretations, this one and this one. But which one is correct? This one or this one? Of course, I want to say that correct answer is 35. You ask me why. Okay, what about this 20? You think that 20 is the correct answer, but this is absolutely wrong, because addition before division, this is a very huge mistake in terms of mass. Of course, with parentheses, this question will be 20. The answer will be 20, because then you should start from these parentheses, because parentheses have the highest priority. So we should start from these parentheses at first, so 30 plus 10 equals to equal to 40. So we should start from these parentheses and this addition will, will have like the higher priority than division because it's inside parentheses. This is really important moment. So then in parentheses this addition gives you 40 and division by 2 gives you 20. But in our case we don't have any parentheses so we just skip this part. This is okay solution with parentheses. Without parentheses this is a very bad solution so forget about it. So we, we just skip this part. Okay, 35 is the correct answer, but what about option? Let's look at it, let's scan where do we have this option, 20 not good, 40 not good, 70 over 2, and some students confused about this option C, and then they go back to this, sometimes it happened that they go back to this answer 20, because they don't see this uh, this option 35, they don't see this, they don't have this option right here, the exact value of 35, they don't have it, but if you look closely, we have this 70 over 2, this is like a fraction, so this is like nothing squared right here, so 70 over over 2 this is like a division 70 divided by 2 equal to equal to 35 and this is the same as right here so I have a correct answer to this question this is option option C is a correct answer option option C right here I write it is a correct answer to this to this interesting challenge so here's my thoughts here's my final thoughts about this question division is all the time before addition this is a very huge mistake when you add at first then divide so multiplication division group is all the time before addition and subtraction group so the addition and subtraction this is like a final step this is like step in conclusion you just want to add it and this expression you just want to add it you just want to subtract and this is our final step before this step you should multiply or divide but but before this, we, we, if we have exponent or parentheses, you should you should solve these questions. You should solve this part as well. So parentheses is the highest priority. If you don't have parentheses, you just go to the next step. Next step exponents. If you don't have exponent, go to the next step. Multiplication division group. Right here we had division, so we just did it. And addition and subtraction as a final step, we just added. We have we have 35. So I hope you understand this PMDMC. If you don't trust me, you can easily. Check this question in your scientific or graphing calculator. Sometimes happen that your regular calculators don't work as as uh, in other calculator because in some calculators, you know, uh, works this problem as you type it in. So, for example, if you type this 30 plus 10 divided by 2. So, if you type 30 plus 10, your calculators instantly sometimes happen, okay, gives you answer 40. So, sometimes happen that 30 plus 10 gives you 40 instantly. But calculators don't know about this division and they think, okay, I wanted to add, add it and then, of course, divide if you want to this like that sometimes happen that you wore it on the exam and you need to you have to make this order of operation right here and you should write you should plug in the entire expression this is like the key moment right here if you have the calculator you just plug in the entire expression and then your calculator see okay i have the addition, I have division, maybe I have parentheses, maybe I have exponent, and your calculator is smart enough to know order of operations. So if you have your calculator, you can easily check check your calculator right now, just plug in this question. You're plugging this by parts, so 30 plus 10, it gives you 40, and then division by 2 gives you 20. This is wrong approach. You should plug in the whole entire expression. This is a very important moment in terms of math. So we hope you understand my thought about, about calculators. And right now, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this error again you'll be like oh now I get it so let's go ahead and apply the order of operation now pretty easy stuff so <clears throat> no pretty easy stuff so uh, here's our problem so anytime you're faced with like a numeric expression you just practice this uh, easily with PMDMC with with uh, with challenges with solutions you practice step by step and it will be it will be really great so here's my explanation to this channel definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test IQ question subscribe to my channel I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures and if you need to help with any of these classes you can just go through my youtube channel I have a ton of videos so with that being said I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and have a great day and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe as it definitely helps me out for this particular video so see you in the next video stay care of yourself and have a great day 
So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time.